Okay, today I'm going to go over a website and an app called Remind. They used to be called Remind 101. They dropped the 101 and now it's just Remind. It's um, a service that you can use to contact students or parents. And it's a way that you can do it without them having your phone number or you having their phone number. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is sign in or sign up. Now if you look at the sign up, it's just a couple fields your name your last name email and a password okay so when you sign in you can sign in with your email address or even with your Google account I um, sign in with my school account because that is the one that I have that I registered with when I first registered for this service it um, it didn't have the the ties to Google so when I sign in as you see I have a couple classes here okay and every year I start a new class and so the the way you do this is see if I send this to my sixth grade room twice this class I type my message and send it and it sends a message to them from my remind 101 number it doesn't come from my phone number and everybody gets the message and they can't reply back okay so it's just basically kind of a bulletin board that goes out to either their cell phone or their um, their email okay so I'll show you it, it gives you a couple ways when you click this invite students and parents it gives you a couple ways that they can get logged on okay first here's my link right here to my class okay I can email that to them or I can post this on my website or there's this presentation right here that shows them what to do okay. or you can just print out this PDF it's up to you now on the PDF this is my third grade class my upcoming class it tells them that you're gonna send a text message to this number and the number you're gonna put this code at mister Lambert 7 or if they want their their messages to come to their email account they can um, send an email to Mr. Lambert7 at mail.remind.com. And after they send those text messages or emails, they're going to get a message back to them that says, "Okay, what do you want to register your name as? Okay, what do you want to what do you want your subscriber name to be?" So as I look over here, I downloaded all of the uh, of subscribers from my last year's class that had last names on them but I have Daniel's mom so that person wanted to put that they were Daniel's mom and this is home email okay from somebody that's what they wanted to type it as so when I send out a message it will go to Daniel's mom and home email so I can just type a message right here I'm gonna send out um, have a great summer because it's in the middle of summer right now okay and I send it out Boom. okay and it's going to verify. All right. That, do I verify that all the following are mine classes are age 13 and over? Yes, this is their parents. Boom. Thank you. Message has been sent. Okay. So, going to make sure that, um, see right here, I have these people and I sent it out to them. Now you can send it to not everybody but it has to be at least three people so if I want to click down here and I and I want to add subscribers I can add Daniel's mom and I can add home email but you have to add at least one more now for me I only send it out if I send it out to everybody and for me the reason why I like this is being a male teacher I don't want people thinking um, that I'm sending things to kids or sending you know if things are sending things to to parents just one at a time this way it goes out to everybody it also reminds you here here's your code and here is the number so for my third grade class see here's the code and here's the number as a reminder okay now it tell it shows me all my messages right down here all the ones I've sent and the date and time I sent them you can send a schedule you can send a scheduled message as well so I want to set for this time at 3 o'clock. Or I can change the calendar and maybe I want to do it next month. Friday, August 1st, 
at 3 p.m. And you can attach files as well. So again, it's a good way that I don't know, I don't have Daniel's mom's phone number. I don't even know what this email address is, who it is. But they can still receive things from me. And they don't have to worry that I'm going to have their number. And I don't have to worry that they're going to have my cell phone number. Okay. So when you add a new class, you just click right here. You give them the class name and the code. And the code, kind of like an email address, it has to be unique. Okay, it can't be one that someone else has already used. All right. Now they've added some new things where you can also um, you can add like your feeds to your website, and I'll show you that in another video. But you can get this from the iTunes Store or the Google Play Store. The link will be in um, the comments below in the in the video description. Okay, and I'm also going to show you how you can work this completely from your tablet or phone. You don't even ever have to be on the computer to do so. So I'm going to show you that part right okay, now. So here I'm using it just on my tablet. Same thing as a phone. And I already downloaded it. It has a little cloud. Remind. And it might ask you to sign in with the same, same way you did before. Now I already signed in. So as you see it has my feed of messages that I sent to my 6th grade room 26 class. I can also click right up here and it tells me my subscribers. Okay. Also has a button right here where I can get add more subscribers. I can copy this little link here and email it out. It also gives the instructions that were on that PDF from before. Okay, so I can send this as an email. The instructions are right here on that that were on that PDF. And tells you what to do. Okay? So you can run it completely from your phone, your iPod, your tablet if you want. I can change right here. I can go to my new class. See this third grade in P7. I have no messages yet. I also have no subscribers yet. If I just come right down here and press down at the bottom, there's a place to type my message. Okay. So again, you can run it all from your phone, all from your tablet, but there are some more little functions on your computer if you want to, if you want to go work through the website. Once I get it set up, I'm usually only on my phone working it. But again, you can use it on your tablet, your phone, your computer. It's just a great way to um, stay in communication with your parents in a safe way where you don't have everybody's phone number.